y'all. It's Crystal from Crystal's Beautiful Chaos. If you're new here, welcome. If you, I hope you choose to stick around. And if you do, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, if you're wondering what we uh, do here, hey, I mess up my words constantly. 95% no. We'll say 80% of the time, maybe 75. I'm a hot mess, no makeup, hair. Like, this is as good as it's getting right now. Because um, I'm a busy woman. Um, but we do a lot of shopping hauls here. Which, speaking of, I'm going to lay off of those for a while. Because I got too much shit, y'all, in this house. I'm sure if you guys watched my previous hauls, and I said this house is a mess. And you guys are probably like, why is this girl's house always a friggin' mess? Because I'm constantly rearranging or constantly doing something. And it, well, I'm to a point now where my office slash craft room is just too small. So we're in the process of moving several items to the basement to set up like a store. Because there's a room that Marcus built down there a few years ago that was at one point a music studio. Because he was um, producing music for one of his friends. And then it got revamped into a bedroom because I had one of their friends living here for a while. So now the room is just a storage room. So we're going to empty that out and we're going to turn it into like a store. So just have all my stuff lined up so I can get to it easier and so on and so forth. But it's super hard to get that accomplished when I'm working 9, 10 hours a day. And in between that, cooking and cleaning the kitchen and bathroom and running Peyton, my daughter, back and forth to work. So with that being said, I'm probably going to switch up a lot of the things I do on this channel for a while at least because I need to get through a lot of the stuff I do have craft wise um to doing one video a week probably on a Friday or a Monday and it'll just be crafts or DIYs because there are some big projects I want to take on here very soon especially before the weather gets too shitty because I need to be in the garage for some of it and we don't, our garage isn't like heated or nothing like that um, before we jump into this, if this is going to be a collective haul. I don't know why you guys don't like collective hauls so much because you can get really good deals some places other than Dollar Tree. But I still like to share my finds because some people do enjoy them and like to see what you can try finding on clearance. So this is going to be collective hauls, Walmart, all these, and Dollar General, which is my standard because those are the three closest stores to me aside from Dollar Tree. Um, but before we get into it, go make sure to, please make sure to go check out Miss Frugal J, um, at Frugal J, as you guys have probably all heard by now, and if not, I'm sorry. She is one of the YouTubers that has embraced me as, like, her sister, um, but she is going through it. Her son, Joel, has been in the hot, well, in recovery now for the, for many months. He was in a traumatic, oh my God, get your shit together, girl. It's Thursday, almost three o'clock. I'm on my lunch break, so my mind's all over the place. Okay, um, Joel, her son, 32, he'll be 33 soon, was in a motorcycle accident six months ago, as of the 17th, and he sustained a traumatic brain injury. So, because of that, he is still in recovery. Um, this accident happened in Chicago because that's where Joel resides, and Jay and her husband and her one of her other sons and daughter and a couple grandkids live in Florida. So Jay has been in Chicago for six months now um, trying to help Joel through the recovery process. He has to relearn many things. And with that being said, she was out of work and she just started a part-time job. And she had to get guardianship of Joel. So everything is in her care, but the place that Joel is currently at does not provide many things that he needs. So if you guys could go over there, subscribe, watch her videos through the ads. It helps her get more revenue, which means more money. Um, if you can and are willing and feel like being generous, she has a GoFundMe set up that was set up by Mari from Everything Mari. And she also has her cash app on her community tab. So please, please, please make sure to go show her some love, prayers, good vibes, good juju, all that fun stuff. Oh, that was a lot. Okay, let's get into this. 
because I got things to do. Peyton's at work. She's working a double. I got dinner already going in the crock pot. We're having pot roast, potatoes, carrots. I'm going to work on some of this mess I got going some more. So I got shit to do. So I only got one thing to share from all these. I didn't like share any of the food or anything. But this was on clearance. It was originally, I want to say 12 bucks and I paid seven something for it. It's by Huntington Home. And it's a candle snuffer, wick trimmer, and dipper set. I wanted it because of the snipper. But here's the box. Here's the packaging, which is so gorge. And then you open this box. And there's your clippers, your snuffer, and your dipper set, which I don't quite understand. So let me read this real quick. Um, I know what the snuffer and the trimmer is. A wick dipper. The wick dipper is a long stem with an angled end. That allows you to dip the wick into the wax melt pool into the wax melt pool to extinguish the flame Why not? so you bend it over the purpose is to fully extinguish the flame which eliminates smoke and soot oh because you know when you blow out a candle that shit smells <clears throat> while also coating the wick in readiness to be trimmed before your next use which will maximize your candle burning experience all right, all right, all right. They had two other boxes. They only had two other ones, and the boxes were different. One was like blue and silver, and the other one was pink and gold, but this was just the one I gravitated to, probably because of the purple and the teals. So, who I never knew about that. And this is what that, I still don't remember the name, dipper set looks like. Hmm, I'll have to give that a whirl. I'll have to, I have to. Go back in. Okay. So that's it from Aldi's. Then we're going to jump into some Walmart and then we'll end it with DG, aka Dollar General. I have a glass, a mug of hot green tea here because I'm on my weight loss journey right now and I try to drink uh, at least one mug of hot green tea with honey in it a day because it helps um, clear out your system from toxins and all that. So I try to drink one of those. Okay, so first thing from uh, Walmart, I almost said Dollar Tree, is this ice cube tray. It's for Halloween. It's just pumpkins. They also had an option that was a red tray and it was brains. Mm -mm. And I think skulls that was black. But I just grabbed the pumpkins. Two, four, six, eight. It makes ten cubes at a time. Let's see what we got in her. Um, they have their fall picks out right now, so they range in price, at, at least at my Walmart, from like $1.14 to $3.14. So this one was $3.14, and probably because of the size of it, and it has these really pretty pumpkins on it, and that's pretty much what got me. And I like the berry things, too. I guess $3.14 isn't horrible for the size of a, a pick. I'm just calling it a harvest pick. <clears throat> And then they had these for $1.14 in the picks. It just says Harvest Pick. I don't know what these are called, but I like them. I like the shape, the colors. So I just grabbed one of each. They might have had a maroon one, but I don't know for sure. A clearance item in here from Walmart. It's just these um, time and true set of earrings. You get three pairs for $3.50. But I really like the dangly ones on the bottom, the pink and gold. So I grabbed those. Another Halloween thing. I thought this would be good for like making Halloween DIYs. You get 100 pieces for 98 cents, and there are these. They're calling them 3D spider confetti. I don't know. Can you tell? Can you tell? Can you tell? There's a glare. I know there's a glare, you guys. All right, screw it. I'll just open the bag real quick. Rude. Okay. Oh, that's going to scare the shit out of Peyton if she sees it. Okay, let's see how tiny they are. I did it again. There we go. Like, pretty realistic looking. Forget it. 
they keep falling, that means they're not meant to be in my hand. That one went in my water, my paint cup water of water. Okay. Wait, wait for it. Okay. <sighs> I even have my waist strainer on. Sweat off the pounds. And then I got some okay. Halloween clings. These were a dollar twenty-four sheets. So this one just says happy Halloween and it's got all the bats on it. But then this one I had to get because, well, there's gnomes all over it and candy. And it was just too cute. It says trick or treat. It's got all these gnomes. Candy, pumpkins. Super cute. Don't know what the hell I'm doing with them. So please don't ask. Please. I gotta step aside for a second. Two seconds, y'all. Two seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. I'm back. Yeah, I'm a mess. I told you, like, I have, I don't match, whatever. Don't judge me. I got shit to do. I got cleaning to do. Okay. I wanted to show these because they have these napkins at Walmart for 98 cents. You get 18 of them, which really go nicely with those paper plates I got from Dollar Tree with the skull in the center. So if you can't find them at Dollar Tree, go to Walmart because they have plates to go with this as well for 98 cents also. Okay, okay. Oh, damn it, this fell off the box. Okay, okay. How dare you. How the hell do you go back in here? Kind of sorry right now, apparently. Give me this. Okay, so I picked up this fragrance oil diffuser. I got it for a dollar for a uh, dollar. Two forty eight. I wish it was a dollar. At one point they were trying to put them on clearance for five something. I just like it pink and gold. I think that's cool. But it fell out the box. Like I had whatever. So you just buy your plugins, right? You buy your your scented thing. I'm putting it up in there. Plug her in, plug it in. There's the directions. I uh, just picked up this allergy relief. My generic Zyrtec 14 tabs this is $4 because I can't find it at Dollar Tree no more. Makes me so sad. I picked up these, the six piece of combs by Scoonchie for $1.98. You get brown, clear, and black. They're just small ones. Last couple things from the I almost said the DT from the Walmart. Is these Pen and Gear school supplies for 75 cents. So I just picked up these erasers because I thought they were super cute. Except for the unicorn. I mean, I'm not big into unicorns, but it's still cute. But aren't those cute? And then I picked up some stickers. I thought I had three packs. Maybe I don't know anything wrong. Or Peyton threw one out. These were 75 cents also. So this one has got a lot of the cutesy little animals on it with a coffee cup oh a cactus that is like a cat the avocado you get 12 pieces so 12 stickers in there for 75 cents and then i found these ones as well that were 75 cents you get 12 in this also so just thought those were cute that's it for Walmart, Wally World, as I like to call it. Sorry, I know I'm wasting time putting this shit away. It will not away, but in a bag. But I need to, to keep some of the mess contained. I remember telling you guys I stopped at Target, aka Target, when I was in Michigan and bought a couple things. Ooh, is it too late to fetch for my fetch receipt? Let me see. What the hell is the date? Damn it, I missed it by one day. I should have filmed this yesterday. Oh, well. So, I just picked up a very few things. So, this is one of those little bar cart, bar cart tier trays. Super cute for $5. So, I picked that up. I've been wanting one of these for a while now. I thought that was cute. It doesn't roll or nothing. It's just the concept, you know. And then I picked up this cute little tiered tray decor. It was a buck. Just the pumpkins with stripes. 
Oh, or not very big. Probably about, yeah, the size of my hand, a little smaller. And then I found this tassel decor includes one wood piece, two wood beads, one stencil sheet, one plastic needle, one tassel, carding, and one instruction sheet. This was three bucks. So I guess this is what you're supposed to turn it into. It's a pretty decent size, though. So i grab that. And last but not least from Target, they had some of these. This is spatula, right? Spatulas. They had this one that says Gone Batty, which I've lost my mind many, many, many moons ago. But they didn't have, like, the bat in the ghost because I've seen Frugal J actually haul those. They didn't have any of that. They had another one that was white. What the hell did it say? I don't remember what it said. It had something to do with the ghost theme, I'm pretty sure, though. So that's it from Target. Because, like I said, I gave myself a limit there. Okay, and then into the Dollar General, and then we'll be done. I mean, Peyton actually just went to Dollar General the other day, and that's where I found this bag of stuff. OMG. There's a spider. A real spider. Can you guys see it? Where'd it go? Die. Sorry, you guys, if you guys are like animal lovers, but I do not mess with spiders. No, no. No, no, no. And that was a baby one. Okay. Sorry, you guys. I got this pumpkin. It was a dollar. It's like foam underneath with fabric on top. It's got a little felt tag on here that says gather. Twine, stem, and bow. Then I got this pumpkin, same concept, but it's orange, and the tag says blessed. No more spiders right now. I'm going to be looking like hella hard on all of them. <laughs> Excuse me. And I got it in the cream color as well, and this tag says blessed also. All a buck. I think everything in this bag was one dollar. I'm pretty positive. Then they have these pumpkins. They're like, um, they're calling them mint plush mini pumpkins. I don't know what that material is, though. It's not very plushy. I mean, it's soft to squeeze, but it almost has a microfiber feel to it on my hands. Not as bad. So, got that. That was a buck. Got it in green for a dollar. Make it holler. And then they had, oh, and I got it in white also. I think the white one's my favorite. And then they had these squishy pumpkins for a dollar. These just are called felt pumpkins. And I got three different ones of these. This one is blue and it has a little plaid leaf with the beads on it. This was a buck. Cheaper than DT, y'all. Got it in orange, different plaid leaf with beads. And also got it in yeller. So cute. Ha one Halloween thing in here. And it's just this little tabletop decor. This is a buck. And it just says trick or treat. And it has the pumpkin in the middle. Or the jack-o'-lantern. <coughs> Excuse me. They had some fall gnomes out. All a dollar. They didn't even have this stuff stocked. Like these gnomes were not stocked. They were in a box on the floor because they're still working on getting everything set up in my Dollar General. But because the box is open, I snagged what I wanted. <coughs> Excuse me. So this one says fall. Got a cute little plaid hat. And his body's like that felt green. And then I got this one. He's got the, t the blue hat with a little acorn on it. A little orange bow. And his body's got the orange plaid body. And look at all that fuzz. And then the last gnome in this, it might be all together, but I'm not 100% sure, so I don't want to say that. This last gnome in this bag, it's got like a sweater hat, cream and white, a little green leaf, orange body. They were all a dollar. And then they got some baited, baited monograms they're called. They did have the letters on the end of them, but I couldn't find P for Peyton, so I didn't get any monogrammed ones. But I got this one with the white pumpkin, and that says gather. 
I like the color schemes they put on these for the beads. And then I got this one that has the blue pumpkin that says fall with the orange and yellow leaves. This video is going longer than I expected it to, probably because I was yapping so much in the beginning, like I tend to do. But, you know, y'all are my sounding board because it's me and Peyton. And I talk to my son every day. He drives me insane on the phone. And then I also talk to baby daddy every day because he's always got some crisis happening in his life. So, got to keep him from the ledge. Some more. I think this is all dollar stuff because when I go to Dollar General, I try to stay at the dollar range. I just got this little um, brain part garden stick. Garden, you know, you know. It says welcome pumpkin. Simple. It, and the only other versions they had was the ones with the damn truck, and I'm getting tired of the truck. Then they found I found this cute little arrow sign. This is a dollar. Okay. It says hello pumpkin. It's got the beads on the end. Super cute. They had this cute tag that says Hello Fall. Just natural wood for a dollar. The Halloween sign just says Hocus Pocus. Got two black beads on there. Super cute. A dollar. Then I got these little like tear tray shadow box things, or and I just said I'm gonna get tired of the truck, but this one I didn't mind, and it's black. It's not like a red truck or a green truck or a blue truck. It's a black truck. It says hello fall in the back. It has pumpkins and wheat in it. It's just some little tear tray decors or tables, and then this one is orange, and it says it's the most pumpkiny season of all. Which this one's my favorite of the two. That was a dollar. And last three things. Now, those two shadow boxes I just showed you guys, plus these, were in a box. The box was open, sitting on a shelf, but they, this was the first day I went down there without paying. And so I went through the boxes, and I took what I wanted. And I paid for them. It's not like I stole them. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, I have to tinkle, but I'm going to wait because this is the last three things. Okay, these are all a dollar. They're all meant to be pumpkins. They're all half plaid with a raffia bow. I'm not really digging that bow. A little copper leaf and a tag. And this one says grateful. And then this is a black, gray, and white plaid. Yeah, the, 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 these need some love. The tag says hello on this one. One dollar. And last but not least is this orange and white plaid one. And that tag says thankful. Okay, you guys, that's it. That's all. I got a PP. I love you all so much for spending some time with me. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Make sure to drop a comment with which one of my finds in this haul was your favorite find. Look at my hair. OMG. I'm a hot mess. Okay. Love you. Bye. Guys, I wanted to add something real quick to part one and part two. So this is just going to be repeated in both. We're almost to 500 subbies. I think the last time I checked, we're at 402, 403, something like that. So please don't forget that once we hit that 500 mark, we're doing a $15 giveaway, either of a Dollar Tree gift card or Cash App, whichever the per winner pre prefers. So make sure to like this video because it does help the channel grow and all that fun stuff. Okay, that's it. Now I gotta go.